guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Divine Feminine. So this is going to be your uh, yin reading for the 17th of February until the 24th. Um, I have the flu right now, so I'm going to try and keep this short. Um, if you'd like to order my cards, I am selling them. Um, so you can contact me at uh, sherry shock at hotmail.com. Um, the link should be below in the description box. All right, so I'm gonna do a split yin-yang. I'll pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. And from the bottom of the deck we have, wow, commitment. The Twin Flame card. The Twin Flame 1111 card actually showed up for the, the Twin Flame reading as well. It came with the yin. Um, so the overall energy is feeling committed, connected, um, feeling like you're in a twin flame connection, spiritually. All right, so how do you feel about yourself? Zero point. You feel like you're the fool. You feel like you're standing on that precipice of time and space, ready to take a leap of faith. There is an opportunity for new beginning there. Um, and you feel drawn towards it, you feel a sense of anticipation, you are a blank slate ready to be written upon. How do you feel about the masculine? Ha ha! 1111. That's freaking hilarious. 1111 card is basically the same card as the uh, Four of Wands. Um, so you feel that he is your twin flame. You may be getting a lot of synchronistic signs lately. I've been seeing the 1111 so much, it's freaking hilarious to me. So that is an awakening, a call to an awakening. Oh my God, another 11. Justice is how you feel about the relationship. It's karmic justice. It's, you know, this is you sending out positive vibrations into the universe and having it return to you. And it looks like it's returning in a beautiful way. You are completely disconnected from the connection. You're allowing that positive energy to come towards you. Um, you. You might feel that there's justice that has been served in terms of the relationship. Okay, so what do you fear? The crown chakra. Interesting, because the crown showed up for how the masculine felt about the feminine in the yang reading. So. You fear the crown chakra. You fear that maybe this twin flame connection isn't re real, that you're not, you know, the messages that you're receiving aren't real. But if you're getting the 1111 synchronicity signs a lot, listen to those. There is very strong energy around the feminine right now. Trust that the messages are true. What do you want? Independence. Um, this is what the masculine feared in his reading. You want your independence. You want your freedom. You want to feel like you've arrived. You want to be able to go on vacations. You want that um, sense of long-term commitment. And what is the final outcome? Your reunion. Oh my God. Somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood. Bam, twin flame connection. What you will get is a reunion. If this doesn't scream twin flame reunion for a lot of you guys out there, then I don't know what does. So this isn't for everybody. This is, um, you know, this reading is for the general population so take what you resonate with okay so I'm gonna pull 
I'm going to use um, Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels for the final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the feminine? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. See, that's what I was feeling. You're questioning whether this is real. And the message is to stay optimistic. Don't let negative thinking ruin it. Okay, so it says, the Romance Angels send you this card to remind you that you have a strong influence on your love life. That you have a strong influence upon your love life satisfaction. If you've been complaining or worrying lately, the angels guide you to, sh to shift to more optimistic, pr optimistic perspective. Even if you've had your romantic hopes repeated, repeatedly dashed there's still a reason to hold the faith that real love can be yours if you believe it um, today take action steps to positively manifest the love life you desire whether you're single or in a partnership begin to visualize yourself as a romantically happy and satisfied see and imagine yourself with a wonderful partner who embodies the qualities that are important to you Imagine the person uh, imagine that person appreciating and loving you too. <clears throat> you can write lists and conduct journaling sessions about your feelings, hopes, desires, and intentions. You can also create a dream board with images and phrases related to your love life goals. Um, paste it onto a poster board. Daily look at this dream board and positive intent and follow any inner guidance to take action related to your dreams. Your positive outlook will make you more physically and energetically attractive person, which will definitely help your relationship with yourself and everyone else around you too. So imagine that success. Imagine that twin flame connection. And that's what will be manifested for you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I do hope this helps, ladies, and I'm sending massive love your way. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, cheers. I can't talk today. Bye.